welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl here vanessa david and thank you so much for subscribing into my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please show me some love subscribe leave a comment press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i upload a new video please guys i beg you please subscribe to my youtube channel let's get to a thousand subscribers by the end of june guys so guys in today's video i'm actually going out for house hunting i'm planning on moving out so i'm going out to look for a house here in nairobi kenya so guys uh join me as i go look for a house i'm looking for a one bedroom house here in nairobi kenya leave a comment down below guys where can i found a nice uh, one bedroom here in nairobi kenya you can leave a comment guys don't forget to share subscribe uh leave a comment uh press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i upload a new video please guys please i'm begging you guys subscribe to my youtube channel and let's get to a thousand subscribers by the end of june guys be blessed i love you so much thank you so much for consuming my content bye guys so guys i'm already here at the apartment i just want to get in and show you how the apartment is i love the color the paintings it's a new apartment actually that's why you see like it's super super clean and all that i love the colors and and, and all the transitions and all that i i will just wait for the caretaker to come in because i've realized he's not around so this is how the environment outside it looks like I love the painting, I love how clean the houses are. So this is house number one. This is how it looks like. This is the living room area. You see the tiles are still dirty and all that because I said it's a, it's a, it's a new house. Uh, so people are um, moving in at, right now at the moment. It has this like a small chandelier and all that. So I realized there are some marks on the wall. So I was just asking their caretaker uh what's up with the walls and all that kindly maybe he can repaint and all that because it's not good to get in you know, in a new house and there are some markings on the wall and all that so moving forward we have this um camera before you get into the toilet and then the sink area for brushing your teeth and then this is how the toilet looks like um i love the pink color for the for the toilet and all that the bathroom is not that bad the size is good and all that so next i'm going to the to the bedroom this is how the bedroom looks like um i just love the wardrobe they are so big and they are so spacious huh, here i can keep my makeup actually my handbags and all that uh you see there it's so so spacious the space is so big i can't even complain I love how the wardrobes are set up. You can keep a lot of stuff and all that. You can even keep your suitcases there instead of keeping them under the bed. <laughs> yeah, guys. So you see there's more space here. I can keep even my shoes down there and all that. So I just love how the wardrobes are so, so spacious. This is how the bedroom looks like. It can fit a six by six bed. This is the bedroom window. This is how it looks like. It has those um, curtain rods and all that. This is how the outside looks like. I just love, love this house. So moving forward, I'm going to check out the kitchen area also. So this is how the kitchen area looks like. Um, the wardrobes, they are so, so spacious. I can't even compare with my current house that I'm living in. The wardrobes are so, so spacious. You can see they are, the spaces are so, so big. I can't even complain, but uh, you see, there's more space on the other side and all that. But now one thing I don't like about this uh, space is like the working surface is so, so small. So I was wondering, like, since I'm, where will I put even, where will I even be cooking if I want a working surface and all that? So one thing I didn't like about this is the working surface is so small. But the kitchen is so so spacious. It actually has even a a balcony outside, which I it's really really nice. You can be keeping your dustbin there, doing your, your laundry there, and all that. So this is the balcony. It's actually not that big, but it's uh, manageable. It's so it's it's a bit spacious for me. I feel like it's not a it's not a a bad space. So for me, the balcony is very, very much okay. But what I don't like about the kitchen is that the working surface is so, so small. You can see 
the working surface is also small you can't even cook your chapati there so it means you have to buy another another um, table for all that you can see even the wardrobes in the kitchen the little bit spacious guys so what do you think about this house there are actually four houses different houses different designs in this apartment so actually i'm going to check all of them before i go out i'm going to check all of them so you guys what do you think about this size i've already showed you the bedroom the living room the toilets and all that so this is the living room area like i told you guys so let's go and check on house number two guys so guys this is house number two this is how the living room looks like the the living room spaces are actually the same they are just um they are they're actually the same from house number one this is the the window for the living room it has that small chandelier for the lights and all that so this is how the kitchen looks like unfortunately this kitchen doesn't have a balcony but at least you can see the working surface is a bit more bigger than the first house and i can feel like the first house the kitchen was a bit bigger and it has a balcony and all that uh for the cabinets in the kitchen they are actually just the same 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 size so i was actually 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 asking the caretaker about the um, the cooker lights and the cooker socket and all that so coming out toward it actually have this space where you can use to clean your clean your laundry sorry and all that so another thing about this house actually the toilet is big bigger than house number one as you can see this toilet is much much bigger than the toilet for house number one and the lighting here is much much more than on house number one you see the toilets are always uh, the same same color the pink color i just love love the color for the toilets i love the color for the tiles it's a bit dusty and all that but it's a new house actually if you clean and all that the surfaces will be looking nice so moving forward uh you have this bedroom here the bedroom sides are almost they are actually the same same size uh funny thing about this house it has a balcony on the bedroom you can see it has like a small balcony it was closed i couldn't like access to the outside side so it has a balcony on the side in the bedroom and like the first house which had a balcony in the kitchen but for me i prefer a balcony in the kitchen what do you think guys I will leave a comment down below. Do you prefer a balcony in the kitchen or a balcony in the bedroom? Leave a comment. Let me know what what is your thoughts. But the bedroom is big. <clears throat> but you see one thing also. It doesn't have a window. So they are just using that. The, the window for the bedroom is that small. So coming forward, uh, we have this uh, wardrobe. The wardrobes are actually the same, same size. They are just spacious. I can't complain about the wardrobes and all that. Another thing I realized, uh, the bedroom has a one, actually it has one socket. And also the sitting room has one socket, which I feel like it's a really, it's a disadvantage. Because I feel like in the living room, they're supposed to be like, you're supposed to have like three or four sockets, not just one. So meaning you'll have to use extension in all in like when you want to connect your devices and all that. So guys, basically in a nutshell, this is how this house looks like. So I'm thinking of going, I'm planning to go and check on house number three. I see how it looks like. So guys, this is house number three. This is how it looks like. This is the living room. The living room is a bit spacious, more than the two rooms that we've already seen. And then the, the the window is actually next to the stairs, so there's no much lighting coming inside the house. This is how that chandelier looks like. It's the same on all the rooms. And may I feel like I need, I need a living room that has um, more lighting. That's what I need. I just need more lighting because of my videos and all that. So moving forward, uh, let's check the bathroom. It has like the same mirror. The same sink, the same color for the toilets, but this bedroom, uh, sorry, this toilet is a bit smaller for me, more than the house number two that we saw. And also the lighting is not that much. The lighting is so, it's just it's so small. There's a bit of darkness inside. So let's go and check the, the bedroom. Yeah, let's go and check the bedroom. So this is how the bedroom looks like. Same size with the other ones. 
it has a bigger window, not like house number two, which had like a smaller window. This, the, the lighting is perfect here. I can't complain. The windows are so big to bring in more light into the bedroom. I can't complain. The wardrobes, I said, same size from house number one to house number three. The wardrobes are just the same size. They're so spacious. I can't complain about them. And let's get into the kitchen, guys. So this is how the kitchen looks like. Small working sp small working surface. It's a bit smaller for me. It has a balcony in the kitchen. This is house number three. So house number one and house number three has a have has has a balcony. Sorry, in the kitchen, the cabinets are just the same same size from all the houses. But this kitchen, for me, I feel it's like a small space. And um, I just don't like it because it doesn't have a, a working surface. I feel like for me, I just need a bigger working surface since um, you cannot be in a kitchen that you don't have a, a working surface, guys. So basically, this is how this house looks like. Uh, let's get into the balcony and see how the balcony looks like. So the balcony is just the same size as house number one. The balcony is the same, same, same size. I love the fresh air that coming from outside and all that. I love the view and all that. So I'm so, so much impressed about the balconies in the kitchen. But I just feel like the working surface in the kitchen, they are too small for me. So that's it. <clears throat> so guys, this is the last room that we are checking out. This is house number four. I love, love this house. The living room is big. As you can see, this is the living room space. The kitchen is spacious. It's big. You can see the working surface is a bit more bigger than the three houses that we've seen. The cabinets in the kitchen, all same size. I can't uh, complain about that. You see, the cabinets are all the same size. The kitchen here is a bit more bigger. So here the kitchen is a bit bigger. You can see the ambience from the outside. I love since it has a like, um, much, much, much more bigger working surface. And I love that, guys. So I just love the space in between the toilet. And before you get to the kitchen, there's this big space here. And I just love the lightings and all that. There's this thing for brushing your teeth. And actually this uh, this house, it has a separate uh, bedroom uh, sorry it has a separate toilet and a separate bathroom which i just love the f that fact in as much as they are small and tiny i just love the fact that it has a separate toilet and a separate um bathroom you see the toilet are just the same same color i love the pink color and all that is a bit smaller but i'm comfortable i can work with that since it has a separate bathroom and a separate uh toilet and like the other rooms that you've seen it has the toilet and the bathroom having uh, in one space. There's enough water in this apartment, guys. So you can see there how the bathroom is. The surfaces are not yet cleaned. But I love the tiles and all that, guys. So I'm so, so much impressed about this uh, last room. The bulk, uh, It doesn't have a balcony, actually, in the kitchen. You've noticed that it doesn't have a balcony in the kitchen. Or either in the bedroom, you can see the window, the lighting is just, just perfect. You can see the view from outside. The bedroom is just the same, same size as the other ones. The uh, the wardrobes are the same, same size. I can't complain about that. So, yeah, guys. In a nutshell, I love this uh, last room since for the lighting for me and also because it has a separate bathroom and a separate toilet and the space is much much bigger and all that so guys what do you think about this four room that i've showed you which one would you prefer which one would you go for uh what will what will make you go for any of the houses that you choose so for me i love this one Hope you guys you enjoy my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, share with your friend. If you're new to this channel, press the notification bell, share, leave a comment, and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time that I upload a new video. I love you guys. Be blessed, and don't forget to watch my videos. Bye. 
So guys, before I left, I made sure I checked uh, on the rooftop because that's where they hung their clothes. I made sure that I had to check the wire lines and all that to just make sure it's a nice, nice place where you can hang your clothes. So guys, support your girl by subscribing. Leave a comment. What do you think about this video? And press the notification bell so that you'll be notified if I go up with a new video. Thank you.